I'm really privileged to be here. I thank the organizers, and I will not take much of your time because I understand today time is very, very precious like steel. So I just want to introduce to you to this building, but I'm sure this building needs no introduction. I made an introduction, but this building doesn't need any. And I will just bore you with a question that if this structure was replaced with concrete, how it would look? So there would be obvious answers, but all I want to pitch is that this, is not, this steel has, is not only a replacement material, it has its own place and we need to, I mean, it needs to be identified, and that's how steel, I'm pitching it today for the, that steel is not a replacement material. May I go to the next slide, please? So, uh, my case study today is one of our projects, Cygnus Building, which has its own story, which went through, you know, I mean, various financial, various business cycles, wherein, I mean, initially it started as a hotel, and during this course of time, the land use changed, and eventually we constructed a commercial building over there. It's an office building. Now, the point here was whether to go for a steel, whether to go for a RC, I mean, go for a concrete. The question, I mean, the answer lied in obvious, because steel was giving us a lot of flexibility, and more importantly, we were able to generate more space, but not in terms of only the column spaces, but it was in terms of additional floors of this. Yeah. Additional floors, we're getting additional areas, we're getting in that form. So I run through this case study just to evaluate that how steel is important in, in many places and it's not just a replacement material, it has its own use. Uh, can somebody, the slide? Oh, sorry. So just to give you, I mean, uh, just to put in a perspective, I mean, any structure which has RCC and how, if I have the same eco-skeletal I have to make for a steel, how it looks like. And obviously there's no, no brainer, no guess to it, that how much time on the left side will take and how much time on the right side structure will take. Steel, definitely, there's a speed in it. It's a very controlled production. So the quality is very high. There's a lot of flexibility in it. We can have different shapes to it. We can have different sizes to it. It is a durable material. Installed properly, fabricated properly, it's a quite a durable material. And in the overall, in the overall scenario, quite economical, which I will run through my case study. So this is a building which is in the uh, uh, center of Mumbai, Pawai. So this is a building which is almost near completion now. So it was, it is, uh, the structure configuration is based three basement levels. Ground floor, nine podium levels for parking, one amenity floor, and 16 office floors. So the ballpark, I mean, approximate built-up area for this is around 1.5 million square feet. Just to give you a sense, if we would have done it in a normal reinforced way, it was around 10,000 metric tons of reinforcement steel and uh, concrete use would have been around 69,000 cubic meter of concrete. When we changed it to the steel, the approximate values were around 13,000 and 45,000 concrete. Why I'm giving you these figures, I'll tell you. Because this construction, there was a logistical nightmare in this, lo in this uh, location. So constructing a building, was not only a function of what we will build, but it is how we do, how we build it without disturbing the neighborhood, without disturbing the adjoining areas. So this, uh, I'm giving a small narration of this project, which act eventually, it actually started in the year 2005 with the concept of hotel. Eventually 2016, it started with the basement and all, 2007, Construction started, 2008, there was a financial market slowdown. It broke down, 2009, project was stopped, 2017, fast forwarded to 2017, land use, other regulations changed, so it was more better to, I mean, an obvious at that location to go for a commercial building. So 2009, 18, we started building up the plans for this building, and eventually at this time, 
we had almost three basement levels which were built in the year 2017. They were already there. We didn't want to change the <coughs> sorry. <coughs> we didn't want to change the basement. We didn't want to break the basement. So we wanted to live with it. But at the same time, office floor has a different configuration. Hotel has a different configuration. So keeping all that in mind, when we started, so there was, uh, uh, there, there was obviously a the debate, there was a trade-off, what to go for, whether to go for the commercial, uh, whether to go for uh, steel or whether to work concrete. But the obvious answer lied in that if we go for steel, it would be lighter, we can have more span, we can have less number of columns to it, and that's how we proceeded with the steel. In 2023, this is where the structure is today. This is the course of the uh, uh, construction when we started. I'll show you the logistical picture of this area. This blue shaded area is the only access I had, and I have a picture to it. There were time restrictions. There were hotels adjoining around this thing, so noise, the criteria that was very high to attenuate the sound in that area. So there were neighborhood issues, like we had to maintain some silent timings, like we could not work between 7.30 to 8, 4.15 to 5, so something, no construction people will like to work. And you can see what was available in terms of logistics. This was the only logistical chain. So when we did a time motion study of the trucks coming, going, number of this thing, we realized that you know it's only possible if we do a precast elements, precast more in the form of the steel, if it comes over there. So that's how this project So various stages. Yeah, this was the initial layout of the building, how it was scattered for the logistics purpose. This is November 20 when we started. After COVID, Feb 21. Fast forward to. And this is where it is today. So all I want to tell you is that steel, because of its versatile nature, making it possible to make it off-site so we could complete this project. If generally it would have been with more with the concrete and this thing, perhaps the building would not, it would have been very difficult to construct in this constrained environment. And not only this, we, could, we were able to build it because most of the work was done off-site. Not only this, we got an additional number of floors because of light columns, light floor weights, and we didn't want to disturb the existing basement. And if at all we had to go for a revised columns and all, then we had to break the entire basement. The raft was to be dismantled, which was getting overstressed because of <coughs> the uh, number of floors. So to save, in order to save all that, that is how this was construed. So thank you very much.